everyone, it's Sonia. Happy Tuesday or whatever day you're watching this. I uh, hope you're having a great week. So last week, my husband came home and he was just having a bad day. Things just hadn't quite worked out the way he wanted it. And he was so frustrated and he was just angsting over how hard he had worked and how hard he had tried and, and how no matter what he did, never worked out. <laughs> and as he was going on about this, I was fiddling with this little puzzle that we had. It was this three pieces of wood. It was about, you know, this big. And you were supposed to be able to put these pieces together to form a pyramid. And we had actually bought it in Croatia because we went to this museum and none of us could figure out how to do it then. And I was so frustrated that I was like, I'm buying this darn thing, taking it home and figuring it out. <laughs> so I was still trying to figure it out. My daughter had said, I'm looking it up on the internet. And uh, anyway, I was fiddling with it and he's just like, what is that? And so I handed it over and I said, we gotta make this pyramid out of it. And uh, he tried putting it together and he was just getting angrier and angrier. He was just trying so hard to make this thing work out. And finally, he was just like, forget it, I can't do that either. And he kind of tossed it to the side. And just as he tossed it to the side, two pieces landed that actually fit together. And it was the key to this puzzle that we hadn't been able to figure out in about two weeks of all of us trying so hard to figure it out. And as soon as we saw it, we were both like, oh my gosh, I think that's it. I think you just figured it out. <laughs> and sure enough, we added the third piece and we formed the pyramid and it was finally accomplished. And uh, I thought, well, isn't that just a great lesson in life? We all try so hard to make things happen. And sometimes in trying so hard, you, you actually push what it is that you really want away. There's also another psychological factor that comes along with trying to do something. You might have seen this exercise, but if you haven't, go with it. So pick up a pen, hold it, hold it really tight, really tight, you're strong, and now try to drop it. Hmm, what happens? If you try, you either do it or you don't do it, but it happens. You don't really try to do it. You just go about it in a way in which you're either going to drop it or not. And by sometimes using the language of try, you're actually giving yourself an out or you're displaying not only to yourself and, and signaling to your brain that, you know, maybe you can't really do it and maybe you're not completely committed and, maybe, you know, it's okay if it doesn't work out. And then you don't really go for it with your fullest resources. So there's that balance between trying too hard and just using the word try as a means of giving yourself an out. And we wanna find that place where you're much more in flow, where you can make it happen, where you give up the angst, but you are committed to doing it because from that place, you're able to tap into your greatest resources, your intuition, your energy, your inspiration, your imagination, and from that place, anything is possible. So the next time you catch yourself saying, I'm gonna try to do that, or I'm just gonna try harder, or I'm trying so hard, why isn't it working out? Catch yourself and take a look at what you're really doing what's really happening and how might you shift that to release the angst or to fully commit. So with that, go out, do, in a place of inspiration and shine.